and welcome to Spoonful of Palo. Okay, so today we got a great show for you because we're going back to the 90s, talking with one of the stars from the hit iconic movie, Clueless, Alisa Donovan. I mean, who didn't love her as Amber and Clueless? Whatever. Okay, so nowadays she's been busy being a mom, a blogger, and just recently there's been this whole Facebook campaign to get her on next season Dancing with the Stars. I mean, who would want to see her do the cha-cha? Let's go. Lisa Donovan at the Spoonful of Power. I'm so excited. Thank you. I'm going to give you a hug. Thank you again for being here. I am so excited. It is my pleasure. I am very excited. Oh, thank you, my dear. Okay, <laughs> so let me start off by saying this. 18 years later, Clueless, it's still a classic hit. I mean, I watched it. Besides last night, I ended up watching it with a bunch of friends and Patrick at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. <gasps> and yes, there were right. so many characters dressed up. You know, some people dressed up as the characters. Right. And I saw a lot of Ambers. Lot like, of Ambers. when's the last time you watched it? I, oh my gosh, my husband actually still has not seen it. No way. So it was on, yeah, what? it was on television and he, maybe like a year ago or something. And so he started to watch it and I was like, I can't, I don't know. I can't watch it. I haven't watched it in a long time. Can I watch it with you then? You need time. to watch it. <laughs> All of our friends. I mean, you're just like so good in it. I mean, you're well, like. Well, I see whenever I see clips or things, you know, cause people still yeah. will like send me things or photos and you have this like a. Uh, a, wa a wave of memory of the whole experience sure. of it, you know? Do it you, was so much fun. Do you remember the whole auditioning process? Like, oh, was yes. it intense Oh, my for gosh, you? oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. Yes. So the first, it was the first time I think that I was ever on the Paramount Pictures lot. Oh, wow. And so I was supposed to fly home to see my family. And then, of course, like, I have a callback for this movie, and it's this big deal. And so I have to drive onto the lot. It's so scary the first time you go oh, on I there. I bet. Hearts like, racing. I'm like, my name is Elisa Donovan. I'm here to see Scott Rudin. You know, like very like sweating and like making sure they hear my voice, you know, and they see like thousands of people oh my again. Gosh. So, but when I went in there and I was so nervous, I just remember being in Scott's office and he's so jovial and, you know, welcoming and yeah. they were all so nice, but I was just like completely <laughs> petrified. I don't even remember what I said or how it went, but I was so nervous. And then I was like, oh, thank God Amber is you know, like not as bitchy because yeah, it made it easier. Yeah. I could like hide behind that yeah, and be, yeah. but I was terrified. Oh, my. was yeah. that a dream come true for you? That, that whole moment of you being in it? Like, was that just like something you've been waiting for? Yeah. I mean, because you, it was really only the second, the first job that I, that I got in LA was on the series Blossom. Mm. And so I was doing that show at the time. I was hired for one episode and then they had me keep coming back. Mm. And I was doing that show when I auditioned for the movie, but I remember my dad saying, you shouldn't, you know, you're doing this TV show. What is this movie? This seems like maybe you shouldn't be doing this. And I was like, dad, it's like Paramount Pictures, you know? Like, yeah, you and there's something about that. going, yeah, when you're <laughs> on a studio lot and you say, this is kind of like the beginning. Yeah, it felt like a big deal. When did you realize that the movie Coolest was like so big? Like when did it hit you? <laughs> I remember the day after the movie was released mm. that I was in, um, the Beverly Center. Mm, yeah, right over here. I was like trying to buy a lamp or something. I was in Z Gallery, and there were all these girls that came up on the elevator, and they were like, and I was with a girlfriend of mine, and I said, oh my god, there must be somebody famous on the escalator because they're all <laughs> really around, and we were both looking around like, who is it? Who is it? And then they were like, it's you, it's oh, you, yeah. and they were like. To, you know, they like poke you yeah, to yeah. see that you're real. And I was like, yeah. what is happening? That is you know? so crazy. It I love that weird. you remember that too. Like, oh, I it's totally so... do. I absolutely do. Yeah. You know, obviously we lost, you know, the great talented actress, Brittany Murphy yeah. in 2009. Can you share maybe one of your favorite moments being with her on set? Oh, I, you know, that's so, it's so, so sad. She, mm -hmm. she just had such a, 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 a a genuineness about her mm -hmm. and an innocence. Like she was such a sweet spirited person. Mm -hmm. And I think she was really troubled about a, a, a lot of things internally. And, um, mm -hmm. but on set, she was so young. I mean, she was the I youngest know. one of all of us. And I remember her coming <laughs> into hair and makeup because I was in hair and makeup so much because I had so many crazy. Yeah. I was in there for like hours a day. Yeah. Everything. Like people would come in and out, they'd shoot scenes and I would still be like getting things done. But she came in one day and was like, 
uh, you know, didn't, she was, she had a lot of energy. And she sat down and was waiting for the hairdresser to come over from working on someone else. And she was like, oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just going to get it myself. And she takes the, the curling iron. And you can see the hairdresser like, no, you know, like, don't do it. And she's like, no, it's fine, it's fine. And then she's like, ow, you know, like completely burns her forehead. And That's then so everybody's like, 911. I mean, she was fine, obviously, oh, yeah, you know. Right, right. But she was just so, um, she just had so much energy, and she was really sweet. She was wow. a sweet, sweet mm. person and super talented, you know? What would you say about, you know, your characters? Like, you know, from working on Clueless and Sabrina the Teenage Witch, you know, you played a lot of, like, privileged, self-absorbed right. characters. <laughs> but what were you like in high school? Like, did you know anyone like it in high school? How oh, yes. Yeah. So I, I was a nonconformist punk rocker really? when I was in high school. Yeah. So I had, like, half a shaved head that I hid from my dad by pulling my hair over this way. And I had, like, God, ripped so stockings and creepers and, you know, went to see Susie and the Banshees concerts. And, oh, yeah, I was I could not. I would have been, like, like you know, watching a lot of your movies. Well, and that's why it was so show. funny that everybody, I mean, and I wore combat boots all the time and all that. So I, when I auditioned for the part, I went, oh, I know these girls. These are the <laughs> girls that I could not stand in high school. And so I literally based Amber on these girls. Brilliant. That's who I will so... not mention their names in high school that I knew that were that were just mean. Oh you know, they God. were just not nice. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's so, so... crazy. Look how far you've come. Because <laughs> like you're still acting. You got married last year. You have yeah. a beautiful daughter, um, Scarlett. She's about Scarlett. a year and a half. Is she about yep, 18, 18 months? months. Yeah. I mean, that's that's amazing. And you're blogging for People.com. I mean, you're just that getting... is super super fun for me. How did that all start? Like with you blogging so with them? So I I've always been a writer too. Mm. But not like not a more kind of memoirish type of writing, mm -hmm. and I, I wrote this book about my dad losing my dad to cancer. So I have it actually a lit agent mm -hmm. that has been um, trying to, to push this book. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, she said, you know, now that you're pregnant, why don't you start writing about that? And mm -hmm. I said, okay, well I will. And at the same time, my manager called me and said, would you be interested ever in blogging for people.com mm -hmm. because as a new mommy and that kind yeah. of thing. And I said, funny you should say that because I just, wow. I've been writing about that experience. And so. Is it hard for you sometimes to put it out there or is it just, it just feels so natural? It feels really natural mm -hmm. to me. Well, I mean, this is cool because I mean, as you know, there's this whole campaign of you being on Dancing with the Stars, okay? That I it's so crazy this. because like, I know. your friend started <laughs> this. Okay, let's just say your friend started right. this. And yes. now it's been a week, and you have thousands so of he, likes okay, on, your, on the fan page. This is how this began. I, I'm like a total closet dancer. I'm a person. I keep dance shoes for salsa dancing in the trunk of my car. Um, I remember you dancing on a night to Roxbury. Like your right. scene with Chris, uh, Chris Kattan. Yes, Chris like, Kattan. Girl, <laughs> you can dance. Okay, well, go ahead. You can dance. So I literally, before I was married and before I had a baby, and now I see what a great luxury this was to be able to go dancing at 11 o'clock on a Friday if I felt yeah. like it. So I keep salsa shoes in the trunk of my car. And I would literally be like at a party or somewhere and be like, mm, I'm just going to sneak <laughs> out, you know, and go, and go to go salsa dancing. So I was telling my friend Tom this, and other, everybody that knows me knows this about me. Yeah. And he was like, you have to. I think he just got tired of hearing me talking about dancing all the time. He's like, you should be on Dancing with the Stars. And I was like, oh, my God, I would totally kill it on that show. Oh my you know, God, and so we were cool. sort of laughing about it. He's like, I'm starting a page for you. And it just started I mean, as this got, show. I mean, it's been on Perez Hilton, the Daily News. I, I mean, it just goes on. Every time I'm on the Internet, I see your, your face is popping up somewhere. I mean, that, I mean, It that, makes but, me laugh so yes, hard. I can't you know believe it. It shows how much your fans and people would want to see you on the show and how much they still adore and love you. you I know? think that is amazing. I am so beyond flattered. I can't even tell you like oh it just God. makes me laugh so hard I'm all of a sudden I'm like Tom and I are e texting each other I'm like uh did you see that the Daily News now wrote something about this and Entertainment so Weekly great. wrote something about this it's hilarious okay, so, okay, right we have to like prepare you because we're going to be playing it's called Dancing with the Stars Boot Camp okay because I just answered a huge fan oh, okay oh, so no. just, there's gonna be three things you're gonna there's gonna be a trivia okay then we have a fashion part okay. and then we have a spin the wheel um, which is going to tell you, kind of give us an idea who could maybe possibly be your dancing partner, okay? okay. That's the last part. Um, <laughs> you have two minutes to do this, okay? And okay. if you do good, I have a little surprise here at the end. Okay. Okay. So, here we go. Two minutes, timer's going, and we start with the trivia. Okay. Boom. okay. 
How many judges are there on Dancing with the Stars? Three. Good job. Um, what is the prize if you win Dancing with the Stars? Is it A, dinner with all three judges, B, one million dollars to open your own dance studio, or C, a Mirabal trophy? Oh my gosh, I hope it's not two because I'm not sure I'd be able to fulfill that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a Mirabal trophy. Girl, you yeah. are good. Get on that show. Okay, uh, which celebrity famously passed out during the judges' critiques? Was it uh, Cloris Leachman, B, Marie Osmond, or C, Wendy Williams? Marie Osmond. That was like drama. But it was. Gosh, okay. Thank that God was okay. very dramatic. Oh my gosh, she's getting her like scoreboard, but it was great. <laughs> okay, uh, which one of your co-stars has not been a contestant at Dancing with the Stars? Is it A, Jenny Garth, B, Joey Fatone, because you were in the video, I drive myself crazy. You played Joey's girlfriend. <laughs> um, and C, Chris Kattan. Chris Kattan. Carol, you are so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now for the fashion part. Okay, so would you be wearing this for the Foxtrot or the Jive? <laughs> <laughs> I would be wearing that for everything I ever do again. <laughs> Uh, the jive. Yeah, I think good. that would I mean, be the jive. You look so good in this already. I think it would be the jive. It all out for I... you. Um, <laughs> okay, would you be wearing this for the cha cha or the Argentine tango? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I would be wearing that for the. Uh, wait, what was it? The, the, the cha cha or the Argentine tango? The Argentine tango? Uh, is it, I think it's cha cha. Is it cha cha? They're so similar. They're so similar. That's what I said too, so they could be both. You got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, don't look at this. I won't look at this. Don't look at this. Close your eyes. Okay. Um, would you be wearing this for the pasta doble or the mambo? Oh, the pasta doble. Yes, yeah. Don't you look good that in this is, one? I look great in that one. Yeah, I I'll love that one. Okay. That and the last fun. one, is this the quick step or the Viennese walk? Oh my goodness. That is <laughs> that is um, the Viennese walk. Yeah. It would have you to be. Gorgeous. It looks like you're on Project Runway over here. You do, seriously. I do, I do. Okay, now the last part, you have to <laughs> Thank spin. God, by the way, nobody started that page for me. Because I, or like a page for the voice, because you let were. me tell you, I cannot sing. Okay, now you spin. Okay. Extra 10 seconds because oh, no. you're a star. Because I talk too much. No, okay. extra 10 seconds. So spin the wheel and let's see who we think your dance should be. Oh my goodness, oh my be. goodness, oh my so goodness. just spin it. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. That's that exactly who I wanted to be. Yeah. I mean, we are so good. Are we not good? This is uh, look, amazing. This this could say that this could be your dance partner, okay? This, this could, could be, And Derek, I hope he's a winner too, so this future, could be great. right here. Okay, well, he we're going to give you phenomenal. your prize because this is just for you. So go ahead and open it up. <laughs> Girl, congratulations. I think I know what this might be. <laughs> no way. My daughter is going to. I mean, hello. It's love Amber. It. Like, hello. Love it. I mean, this is, you're like a star. You're beautiful. And click on the link. You'll see the link right there. If you want to see TV show on Guess One of the Stars, which you don't you want to hello. Oh, my gosh. But I can't thank you enough for being on our show. Oh, this you, has been so much fun. You're just, you're a star. You're beautiful. And uh, continued success to you. And thank you so much. And when you're on much. the show, can you please come back and see us? Oh, my goodness. You know it. This you will be the first promise. place that I will come. I promise you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank Bye, everyone. You we'll so see you next time. This is Apollo. Great fun. Oh, I love Hi. you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm, thank this you. This is super fun. Yay! Yay! <laughs>